It's Ed Van Calendar Day 7. Let's go. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. We're opening a Hot Wheels car. We're doing a Polly Pocket Advent Calendar. We're doing a Fisher Price Imagine Next Jurassic World Calendar. We're gonna do Barbie fashions from the surprise Barbie fashion bin. Oh yeah, it goes that way. And oh yeah, and I, I chose the Hot Wheels already. I have a Hot Wheels box of ones that I wanna open. But I've already chosen it. We're going with, hey, I guess we're starting with that. We're going with the Hot Wilder. Very cool. It has a movable part that I did not know. It is one of the Experimotors, which I'm like very excited about. The moving part. And let's see here. So it's kind of like a wolf. I don't know why they call it a. Uh, I actually had to look up Rottweiler. I have always thought it was Rockweiler. I have just learned today that it is Rottweiler, R-O-T-T. But it looks more like a werewolf. So I don't know why they, I don't know why they called it that. It doesn't really look like a Rottweiler. The movable part is, it's not as underwhelming as some of the spoilers are. Sometimes they, uh, they don't really, this one actually is on a hinge, but it is loose. It'd be cool if it stayed up, but I do like it. I really like the colors. It is matching this silver theme that I have going on here. I mixed and matched um, all of the silver things that we got from the advent calendars and put it on this girl, and she's just sitting at home with her advent calendar, trying on her things. We don't need to go out to have fun. We can stay home and YouTube and chill, right? Is that an, a new thing? I don't know if anybody ever said YouTube and chill, but that's what I do. Let's look into this Jurassic World Advent Calendar for day seven down here. We did the whole the first row. We are down on the second row. Oh, oh. I would have expected something a little more than an accessory considering we just got a shovel yesterday but I am not disappointed with the accessories we're getting this year especially because they every single one of them has been able to work in <clears throat> one six scale too I still don't have pants on this guy it's perfect look at this it is a torch it's a small torch for mini me to go exploring that is it's very very cool but let's give it to the intended character i have actually just divided up my i got some bins and divided up the different advent calendars into different boxes okay here's the accessories that he's gotten so far and i i love i love them i love them a lot I'd have to say that the walkie-talkie is my favorite, and then this torch is going to be my second favorite. Then in third comes the shovel. Uh, well, he also did get this gun accessory, which was, I mean, it shoots and everything. Can he hold that in his hand? This missile? No. I was going to say it's like two accessories in one. I mean, that's pretty sweet. Those colors are amazing. These, yeah, this is this is good stuff. So good. All right, and then in the Polly Pocket Advent Calendar, what are we going to get? My Polly Pocket box. This is the this is the hardest part of the day, is finding number seven. Here we go. Here it is. Here's number seven. Oh. Is it a computer? Is it a washing machine? Is it a dishwasher? I don't. I don't have it. I don't. Well, I actually do have a dishwasher, but I don't use dishwashers. I think that's what it is. Oh no! It's or is it a stove with one burner on it? Okay, it's an oven. An oven. Now, now we're talking. I like to bake potatoes. 
Uh, yeah, cool. Very, very cool. It's got a little hinge on it. Oh, look, there's some detail on the back. What is that all about? What is that about? Can you pretend it's like a office building if you turn it around? A dollhouse? I could see it being transformable. However, why did they put that space underneath it if it was supposed to be a dollhouse? Very strange background. If you have any insight into why the back looks like that, let me know. I like a mechanical hinge. I like a translucent toy. It's tiny. It's cute. I still can't get over the fact that they don't let us have the house until after we take out all the prizes. It would have been so nice to put the little things in the house. But then I wouldn't be able to... But then I'd have to have this thing falling over all the time, I guess, so... It's good for my video. Alright, and then the moment that all of the Barbie fans have been waiting for, we're gonna open up a fashion pack. Oh no. I don't remember which kind I'm supposed to take. I like to go large pack, small pack, small pack, large pack, small pack, small pack. Because that's what I have. Oh, I can count them. I've got one large pack open, two large, two small, one large open, two small. I, I think I think it's a large pack day. Oh, also I could count it on the calendar. Oh yeah, that's what we did the last time. Let's do that. So we did a large pack, small, small, large, small, small, large. Day seven is a large pack. This is exciting. Oh. Whoops. Okay. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take randomly. Am I taking randomly? I'm just I can't I can't see what the fashion pack is. I'm just gonna take one of the middle hangers out and it looks like we got this one. It's a newer pack. Uh there's a lot there's a lot going on in here. And this was this is yeah, this is this is a great set. I was kind of hoping for di more dinosaur stuff, but this is kind of this. I mean, that's a dinosaur skirt, so like, come on. I don't know. I, I'm dinosaur obsessed, but this is there is lots of stuff in here. We're gonna have to lose the silver theme apparently, because there's no silver stuff in here. Oh, I have my scissors standing by today. So let's take this. This stuff is great for great for Ken too. There are some Ken fashion packs in there. We are gonna get to them, I swear. I bet you all of this stuff is gonna fit on Ken. In uh, I don't know, was it the summer? I think it was the summer. I made all kinds of uh, fashion packs with animal prints but I wasn't I wasn't out of uh, headbands I don't know if I was very satisfied with them and this kind of is the same thing because I was all about mixing the animal prints together so I am kind of happy that I have official Barbie Mattel animal print mixing because it's something that I really really like okay these pants are great are they gonna fit on Ken they might, all of this stuff might fit on Ken because they're making stuff fit for the curvy dolls and I guess they don't really fit on a standard Barbie very very well is what I'm discovering with these fashion packs they fit no one well when they make them for everyone I can't, but that's not true. They do fit the, the curvy girls well. And sometimes they fit my WWE dolls well. And these little things put a lot of holes in the clothes. And I really don't like that. They have to come up with a better method of putting these into the boxes because that's that's unacceptable okay this one says made to move that's so funny that's gotta fit on ken let's see on the buff new buff ken body will it fit mine has a jurassic world of course a dino owen head 
he just he's got a, a grumpy face that looks like mine so what do they call that resting bee face that's what I have people are afraid to talk to me in public I don't think this is supposed to be for Ken but it's like an oversized t-shirt but we we love it and he's made to move it's it actually is perfect and fits great now I don't know about a balloon animal font or just a balloon font oh it fits them totally perfect how about how about these pants I'm pretty sure this is an intended as a date night pack Oh, I was wondering why the waist wasn't opening it's because one of those horrible little hole makers are stuck in there oh well they had they had the t-shirt matched up with the with the skirt so this is this might actually be the best fashion pack that ever existed these are amazing kung fu oh too bad that we didn't open this yesterday because yesterday was national international kung fu day wait was that or was that two that was tuesday these are pretty sweet they fit buff ken well i mean they're they're short but i mean i don't i don't mind that in a in a sweat pant and an athletic jogger that is pretty darn cool uh, i am i am liking that i uh put i have to push up my sweatpants like that sometimes too so that my knees don't get all bunched out i like them short yeah this is this oh well, made to move and they're kung fu pants come on all right what else do we have oh we have some sunglasses that he can wear look at the back of this new fashion pack packaging that's different and how do these sunglasses fit they don't go the arms aren't quite long enough to go behind his ears but that happens sometimes they are a favorite sunglass of mine for sure. They're big and chunky and kind of Elvis retro-y. Let's put them on. Let's put them on Baldy and see how she looks. Now they're like a blue blocker sunglasses so she can use her computer more properly. They don't really go behind her ears either, do they? Oh, I guess they kind of do. Let's try. Let's try my kind of Barbie, the uh, WWE color reveal mashup. See how she looks in them. Oh, they fit well, and they definitely look good with her outfit. They fit her the best. They are sticking on to her head. Yeah, those are good. Look how cool she is. Nobody likes her. I like a sculpted hair. I'll, I'll rip out all the hair to get a sculpted head. Okay, and we're not we're not done yet we have we have this top and we have a skirt well this is a, the straps are really nice it's one of the better ribbons I think I've noticed that they have been using better ribbons to make their fashion packs like even better than for all those people who like the old stuff they use the worst ribbons possible but this this is a high quality ribbon for straps the construction is actually really really well done i'm a fan of a surged edged so i like that a lot too i'm gonna skip right to barbie and put it on her i guess maybe oh yeah i don't know i don't know how much baldy's gonna model today but let's Let's mix some prints already. I can't I can't handle how uh, the thinness of a regular Barbie anymore. I like Wild Hearts crew a lot because of their bodies 
And then I love these WWE dolls, even though their for forearms are a little, a little too bulky, and uh, sometimes I just have to twist them to the thinner position to make them not look ridiculously bulky. But check that out. She's athletic in her athletic wear. This top fits, so I am really surprised. Craftsmanship, uh, the design, the print, the pattern, everything is really fit. Everything is fantastic. This is a new favorite top, which is really hard, f weird for me to say because I am a basic, a basic kind of guy. Let's try on the skirt. WWE sneakers. She has on. There are a pair of sneakers in here too, and uh, I like those sneakers. I like the new modern. I don't like new modern sneakers in real life, but in Barbie Land, they really chunk up the foot. It's gonna fit on Ken too. I like a I like a good uh, animal print skirt for Ken as well. So we will have to try that on. This seems like a smaller skirt. It is a smaller skirt. I don't even know if I could get this on a Kirby. I'll have to try. Let me get rid of the little plastic things that are sticking all over it. This is the this is the best this is the best fashion pack of the year. I think I labeled something else the best fashion pack of the year in an uh, earlier video this year, or maybe I did the best three pack set of fashion packs a year. But this is this skirt fits really, really well. I don't know about pairing these two things together, but black in here, black in here. So put that with black pants, put this with the black top. And uh, we're laughing. I might have to do that on Instagram. Follow Too Hunky on Instagram or uh, Slate in the City. Will he try on this top? I don't think Slate will look good in this top. Will Slate look good in this top? I don't know. Okay, I will try on these sneakers. I do love all of the fluorescent sneakers I've been getting this whole holiday season. Let's look in here. I guess I only got one other pair of fluorescent sneakers and I thought these ones were chunky and big. They're not, com no comparison to these puppies. That's some of the great stuff we've opened. I will put these on her. It looks like her, sil her s silver bell <clears throat> outfit is now going to be obsolete. These things will go in here. I'm excited to do something fun with this belt that we got yesterday, I believe it was. Okay. And then these pink shoes look like that. Yeah, so they make her feet look big. They do look designer sneakers. So not something I would pers I can't say that I wouldn't personally wear them. I sneakers, you know. It's all about comfort. And if they were in a solid black or white, even though I can't wear white sneakers, I'm way too clumsy and messy, I would have to wear these in black or brown. I think I'm going to buy some. Next sneaker I buy are going to be, what do you call those? Climbing sneakers or something, whatever they're called. Okay, um, we should try something on the curvy girl, or should we try this? Yeah, let's try. I'll try a couple things on the curvy girl. Why not? She's here. She's beautiful. She's wearing this altered dino sweatshirt that we got in the first day. I think it was the first day. It's, it is hard to get this hood off of her hair. Sunglasses are off. Take the sunglasses off. Take this off. I am curious to see if the skirt will fit on her because I'm so used to getting clothes that only fit the curvy girls in the fashion packs. So, and if you're interested in knowing what this skirt looks like on a normal Barbie, it pretty much looks the same. The WWE bodies are pretty much the same, they just are just a bit curvier. Will this skirt fit on her? And I don't want to pop any stitches. 
I know that the pants will fit her. It's a, it is it's a, it is a struggle. Oh, oh, it, it it um, it doesn't fit. I mean, it does fit. I mean, it just fits. But I don't think this is made for a curvy because this is about to bust. You can't move her legs. And that's about as far up as it goes. I got to take this off before I ruin it. This was a, a bad mistake. The curvy, the pants will have to fit her though. So maybe that's what they did. They made something for a curvy doll and they made something for a Barbie or maybe this one was just made wrong. Maybe they started writing on the back of this for who it fits. No, made. See that was that's one of the of the the bad points about um, them changing body types. I'm I would have been a, a big supporter of them making every Barbie like f fit and over making Barbie you know the different shapes and sizes because if anybody if we're gonna you know make some kind of statement or try to encourage children to have aspirations to go towards any type of body it should be a physically fit body i mean people tend to go overboard with that now too and i don't know plastic surgery i don't support plastic surgery either uh the pants fit on the curvy girl so we love that she got some pants Regular girl got some some skirts. Let's see if this top can fit on her. Oh, oh no! I don't want. To, I hope the the stitching isn't coming out of the Velcro there. Okay. Let's see this. This was the intended outfit apparently, because this is what was matched together in the packaging. So let's see how these two pieces look together is the material stretchy enough to fit on her yeah her top part really isn't that curvy it's a cool outfit it's cool I like it the pants look better on Ken uh, the top looks just as good on her as it did on muscular Barbie and that's um i think that's i think that's all we're gonna do today uh check out instagram again too hunky on instagram or slate in the city to see what other crazy combinations i've done with these outfits and i uh, hope you're having a good christmas i hope you are opening up advent calendars yourself like comment share and subscribe see you tomorrow